if you want to learn Buddhism, come see me. Come join me. If you want to learn magic, there's a bomo down the street. And make a left. Oh, left. If you want magic miracles to make money, um, call up um, Bill Gates. Because, you know, uh, I'm having problems making money too, you know, because my money-making factory kind of burned out. And uh, if you want to get healed, you know, all that problem, please go see a doctor. And if you're having relationship problems, you come to Rimchi to help you find a lover. All right. If you're four foot one and you're 50, 55,000 kgs, and you pick your nose and you don't change your clothes, and you talk spitting, please, please don't come see me. I can't help you. All right? And, and I just want to let everybody know, Rinpoche is not a dating service. You know, I don't, I don't have a data file of all, you know, great, fabulous singles here for you to be hooked up. So people come, Rinpoche, I, I'm not getting laid. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not finding a, a, a beautiful relationship. How, is there any mantras? Is there any blessings? Is there any special pujas? Is there medita meditation to get laid? I'm sitting there listening to this huh? year after year. Oh, God, decade after decade, lifetime after life. Oops, decade after decade. I'm like, oh. Is there anything to get me a relationship? I said, well, what do you really want? Well, not much. I want him to be rich, gorgeous, fabulous, generous, and um, nice, and listen to me and do what I say. <laughs> get in line with the other 100,000 people that told me that. And, and, and some of these guys, they come, oh, I'm really lonely. And if I just have a, you know, a female companion to keep me company and support me, I can really do Dharma work. I've heard that so many times everywhere. Well, what do you want? Well, she doesn't have to be a supermodel. She can be just a model. I'm like, geez. <laughs> and, you know, if I just have this relationship, I can do Dharma. You know, if I just get bubbly three times a week, I can do Dharma. You know, if I have someone just to keep me company and, and take care of me, I can do Dharma. Yeah, right. When the kids come and the animals come and the pets come and the responsibilities come, goodbye, Dharma. Hello, responsibility. Back to samsara. Once you have that kid, once you get married, no offense to anybody, once you get married, you close the jail door. Once you have the kid, they throw away the key. That's it. What Dharma practice are you going to do? What are you going to do? You spend the rest of your life with one or two persons, raising them and giving all your energy for them. Imagine Mother Teresa got married. How many hundred thousands of people finished? I mean, the Dalai Lama gets married, you know, 40 years ago. That's it. He's not going to help the planet. That's it. Relationships seem wonderful if we have the merit to sustain it to become a Dharma relationship. But do we? Have we created the cause? Have we created the cause for that? And I have lots of people over the years looking for relationships where they're asking me, oh, my husband's nasty. Is there any mantras I can get rid of him? God, what do I look like? Mafioso? <laughs> I told him, hello, and I'm in robes that time, you know, bald, and, you know, I'm like, hello. Do I look like the godfather, Al Pacino here? You hate your husband? You know, talk to somebody else. I don't know, go to JB, find people. I don't know. I'm not mafioso. I have all types of questions. And I have people come, isn't there a mantra to make me skinny? Yes, um, Jim, home pet. <laughs> oh, you don't know all these questions I get asked year after year. After, and they all come sincere. They come with katas with a pack, and they're, they're all humble, and they, and they kowtow. Is there any mantras to make me skinny? Oh. Would somebody come up and say, can you teach me the Dharma to transform my mind? Oh, if they can say that once, I'll give you gifts. I'll praise you. I'll take you in. I'm here to teach the Dharma. And then some people say, oh, you know, I want to have visions of gods and, and Nagas and the netherworld and clairvoyance. Can you teach me? Sure, I can. I can teach you how to do that. I've been taught that. Can you do that? Well, yes, I can. In fact, Buddha's sitting right here. Can't you see? They say, and they're like, and I say, chant this mantra. And they chant it. And they, I say, can you see now? They're like, no, I can't. I said, oh, too bad. You're not so advanced as I am. Buddha likes me. They say, I thought it was that side. Oh, I mean this side. Oh, all kinds of characters coming. You know, but they're wonderful because at least they believe that Tibetan lamas have some kind of power. Some Tibetan lamas have power. I don't. I told you I bought my certificate. But what I do have is years of learning from great masters who have power, the power of compassion and love and skillful means, who has the antidotes to our problems and difficulties. And I'm not good in it, but I can parrot them, and I can parrot them with a good heart. So if you want to learn the Dharma, if you want to learn the true Dharma, if you want to learn true practice and true meditation,
Come and see me. Babies, smabies, husbands, lovers, finding yourself, um, uh, relationships, divorces, you know, healing, magic, all that. Down the street, make a left. Who's there? I don't know. Just go down the street, make a left. See you later. I'm not a bomo. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a healer. I'm not a dateline. You know, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not a rainmaker. I've had people ask me that too. Oh, God, you know, tomorrow's our wedding and it's outside. Do you think you can give us a mantra to stop the rain? I'm like, what do I look like to you? The weatherman here? Look at the weather forecast and pick a day that there's no rain. That's it. Isn't that magical? There's this thing called satellite. You cannot believe the questions I get. You cannot believe it. You cannot believe. I've heard it all, done it all, seen it all. So I'm still here. And what am I here for? To disseminate Buddha's teachings. To help you transform your mind. To intelligent people who wish to make a difference in their lives and others. Through the correct means. I can do that for you. I'm not the best one, but I'm all you have. Too bad. And you're all I have. Too bad. <laughs> So it's both ways, you know, with the leftovers. With that, that's it. So I can do that for you. No commitments. Free. Based on what? Based on my training. And if you're interested in that, when I give talks, join. Make an effort. Make a difference in your lives. Don't make the Dharma switch around to your whole schedule because you're one person. You switch yourself around to the Dharma because why? Priority is Dharma and you, the real way. That's one. Two, if you listen to the Dharma, you can heal yourself. You can be your own therapist. And you can affect people around you. Isn't that beautiful? It's much better.